Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Hadean Tactics. This uh, this video is in collaboration with the uh, Game Development World Championship. You can check out their website to find a, a good source of new and interesting uh, indie games. And if you are an indie de dev yourself, you can um, also check out their site for uh, potentially winning some prizes for your uh, continued development on your various projects. Um, the key for Hadean Tactics was provided by the uh, Game Development World Championship as well as Emberfish Games. Uh, thank you to both of them for allowing me to, to do this. Um, does not, uh, you know, this is not a sponsored vid and it doesn't guarantee I will like the game, but um, I did, I did handpick this game because I thought it looked interesting, so chances are I will probably enjoy it. Um, either way, with all of that out of the way, let's check out Hadean Tactics. This is a blind um, playthrough. I am going to be going through some of the t tutorials as well as uh, figuring out the game. But from what I can tell, it's not an overtly complex game. It's uh, it's an interesting one. It's going to be mashing auto battler tactics with um, deck building mechanics. And I like both of those things. So let's check this out. Enough enough prelude. Um, we're going to be doing, I guess this is, yeah, it said preferred um, hero is our Inquisitor, so, and it looks like to me that uh, that is the only one available to us. This game is also in early access. There was one last thing I had to cover, one last box I had to check there. So if there are bugs or problems, and then you can kind of uh, throw that under the the, the giant rug of, of uh, this game is in early access. I have talked in the past about my... Um, I don't want to say distaste, but I, I do think that this is maybe one of the least original ways to kind of like format your game. I'm not saying that they uh, that they they might they might stick with this, they might not. But I think since Slay the Spire, basically like every deck builder had done this kind of like branching path uh, choice thing. I have seen a couple of games do something different, but it's not say it's not a criticism. I'm just saying it's a it's like you know the least original idea I've seen. In terms of formatting your game but either way we're gonna see what is our first choice we're selecting a hero upgrade this is kind of like in uh, monster train i like this um when you like first start you get to pick how your hero uh starts i i like this more than like your starting pack like how you what what kind of items you get and stuff like that i like i like the idea of like um we we are picking a kind of a play style for our hero so we have the inquisitor we have draconic um, which has, uh, oh, I like that we have the DPS. So we have the higher DPS for the Stalker, um, but they get, this one gets more health. Um, so this one gets no health, but it gets a slight DPS buff and, uh, well, some extra mana. We also get different abilities for each. Deals 125 damage to adjacent enemies. The next attack deals two, uh, t damage and uh, gains 25 might for each adjacent. I'm going to go for kind of, um... I, I guess I'll go for middle of the road. Let's go for this one. DPS is, is less, but it's more, you know? Um, and we'll see if maybe that ability uh, does well. I'm not gonna go to the store yet, but I am gonna say pick a path that um, sees a store in the future. It looks like we have the only choice here that we maybe should, we wanna go on maybe this left path here because then we get the option of going to a store in the future. And I don't wanna take on any champions until I know I'm able to. I will say this uh, this branching path one uh, is a little bit more aggressive than I've seen in the past. I've seen a lot of these branching paths where they just kinda of like one path branches and then they meet up in the next one. So it's like, it, it's not really a choice um, because you know, it's, it's whatever. Okay, the tactical phase happens on the first turn of each combat. During this phase, you can reposition your units on the board, play your first hand of cards, and use the battle clock to start the combat. Uh, use the cards in your hand to influence the actions of the units on the board. Okay, so here's our deck building uh, mechanics. Uh, deal, so, and we have we have three. You're very stock standard. We have three energy, and we can so therefore play three cards. Um, increases the damage of the next attack, I'm assuming, of, of our allies on the field. So let's go ahead. It looks like we can only uh, influence the attack power of one unit. Um, I think that, that um, this is a dragger. This is not our uh, n like hero unit. That's This is our Inquisitor, so we can, we can also um, increase their move. And then deal 75 damage, and we can just like do direct damage as well. I'd rather do some shield battle clock. Use the battle clock. Okay, let's do that. 
Combat phase takes place during the rest of the combat. During this phase, your units will battle automatically uh, targeting the closest enemy. You can pause and resume the combat at will using the battle clock. Okay. Can I just hit space? Yeah, I like when space is the... the space is the universal button for pause and unpause. Okay, so that was apparently the end of the battle clock. So we have some real-time combat and then we have some turn-based tactics as well. Not turn-based tactics, the turn-based just like playing cards and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some more uh, shield on that. We have a rook slide. Push the unit in a specific direction. Interesting. Um, is this a ranged unit? Select an action for this unit. Uh, interesting. So we can also command these units. So maybe I could tell him to like go over here and attack this unit instead. I'm not sure why I would want to do that just yet. I'd like to know maybe uh, have a like we can tell them to use this to adjacent enemies. Maybe they use this uh, uh, automatically. Probably they do. Just go ahead and increase their might for a turn. And um, we'll do, I don't know, 75 damage to this guy. And then that's it. So they killed them with their, their big attack. Their might, mighty attack. So that was one round done. We got some gold uh, at a card to your deck. For five seconds, all attacks will hit all enemies for half of the damage. That's interesting. Uh, deal 175 damage, apply three fracture. Each point amplifies the damage taken by 10%. That's pretty good too, but that's a, that's a focused spell on one uh, enemy. Apply 50 shield to a random ally, repeat twice. I kind of like that. I, it's, you know, I, I tend to take um, the least interesting choice if it means a little bit of extra survival. I often find, um, un maybe unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you see it, um, that uh, games like will maybe emphasize uh, put more interesting, um, more more focus on some of the more like damage dealing cards. But actually, in order to like win, you should take the more boring choice of like, okay, I get more shield, I, I take less damage. Maybe I get to you know do some attacks more often. But you know, it's it's usually the boring choices that offer you survivability. Um, all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some might. We're gonna throw let's throw three like three might on on our dude here and see what happens. Okay, they did 242 damage there. That was pretty good. I wonder if this um, game, if this game has interest um, acquire acquisition. Like, you know, the more I save my money, the more money I'll be making over time. Um, they're taking damage and they're taking damage. I also, I wonder if um, we're accumulating damage over, over like many rounds. <clears throat> Gain extra damage on attacks. I don't want to wonder how they got that. They didn't get it from the might. Let's do this uh, this business. So all three of those shields went on our uh, on our uh, inquisitor here. That's not bad. That's not a bad thing to happen. We'll just kill the enemy. That's fine. So it looks like we do get a little bit of a uh, healage at the end of combat. Select two units to swap tiles. Apply five damage. Uh, apply. Six. Oh, apply plus five damage. So they gain damage. Apply seven haste for three seconds. Each point increases the attack. So I, I don't know um, how much that's going to do for us. Ailment. Set the target unit's shield to zero. Apply three fracture for five seconds. So it'll take some more damage. This only costs one. And it might be better um, for the future because uh, that tells me that we're going to be encountering enemies with shield. So we can go ahead we can groove up everyone here i'm not sure like what what we want to do there uh push the unit in a specific direction we could i guess we could like you know do this and then move them over there right and then we could have two draugr versus one over there and then this guy versus the spider and then we can also like you know well we'll, we'll do some shield also i noticed we can change the camera here So split up the units, a divide and conquer. All right, he's about to do a big old attack. He's been slowed. Uh, set the target's unit shield to apply three fracture. So he'll take a bit more damage from these guys. Um, we can also smack him for 75 and we'll do another shield on that guy. I guess I could have done a shield on the other dude. Smack. 
Well, these guys haven't taken any damage. In fact, this guy is focusing on this guy. So actually putting the shields on him was a great idea because he, he basically didn't take any damage. But we can just go ahead and kill both of these guys right now. I do wonder if uh, there's a benefit to seeing the combat out. Like, you know, if, if they kill them, maybe they get something for doing so. Draw two cards, remove the might of all units, deal damage equal to the value removed to all enemies. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. Draw all cards with the word might from your discard pile. They cost one negative one. Oh, this seems really good. So after we've played a few might cards, then uh, then we can then we can play them all at once. So it's a card that's going to be circumstantially good. Um, we don't need to really split these guys up this time. Maybe we can like naturally kind of split them up. We'll add some uh, uh, damage to him. Apply three fractures. So we don't really want to do this yet. What we could do, we could move this guy forward. I didn't think it was going to move him forward that much, but okay, that's fine. And then, uh, and then these guys will fight him. And what we're going to do is give him fractured for a little bit. Because he's going to take way more damage. In fact, that first hit... Oh, you you were not supposed to come over here, actually. My dude. Uh, you are supposed to go and fight that guy. So actually, yeah, commanding them... You can even command them uh, in the middle uh, of, a, of a turn. So what we want to do is we want to use this might right now. So we'll, uh, we'll apply some might to this guy. And then we're going to go ahead and use this and get even more might. And we'll add some might to him, and that's that was a pretty good turn. We got we got to play three mites. I guess we would have played three mites anyway, but we we had the option of playing three mites. So that was good. Apply fifty might to all allies. This will also count as a might card, um, so we could get that and then maybe fish it from the discard pile. Add a unit to your party. Upgrade a non-hero unit. Let's see. Yeah, let's draft. Um, oh, mighty preacher. I wonder if they heal. Red, Red Minos, um, DPS 7. This one, is it, Mighty Preacher actually has some pretty interesting DPS. Gives all allies 10 mana. Um, or this one, removes all ailment and applies 25 shield to all allies. I like this Light Preacher. They also have 9 DPS, which is kind of insane. Um, but they, they might actually buff our units a bit. Your party is full. When your party is full, recently acquired units will go to the bench. You can make space in your party by dragging or right-clicking on the unit's portrait. Um, how to... Okay. Oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. Gotcha. Um, wouldn't mind going to the store, but we have a store up here. So actually, I kind of like the idea of getting a relic. I'm still, in, I'm kind of in monster train mode. I've been playing mo more monster train recently. I'm trying to like 100% it. One of the few, one of the few games I've been doing that too, but I, I'm, I'm enjoying uh, some of the carryover knowledge here. Deal 175 damage, apply three fracture for four seconds. Um, oh, well, I don't know. I, I have to assume this guy is ranged. Every time you play an enchant card, all units in your party gain 10 mana. So like a might card, for instance. Yeah. So they all got some mana. Oh, I see. They need to. They need mana in order to do some of these abilities. Maybe. I don't know what mana is good for. Purify ailment. What do they need mana for? Maybe they need a full stack of mana in order to actually use their spells. Well, this is a nice chunk of damage here. So we might as well do this. Um, I'll try and like kill one of these units quick, fast, and then they can start focusing on one unit yeah that was that was really good we'll kill this uh snack the snick um they're not quite dead draw all cards with the word might apply 50 shield i like this one let's do this now oh they all ended up on on our dude here that wasn't not not necessarily what we wanted um let's go ahead and use this might on on our hero and then we can do, we'll, we'll do a little bit of damage to this lag because they're about to kill this guy. Nope, no sense in wasting a spell on that. Okay, th this guy is almost dead already. Um, now we can apply 50 might to all allies. That's pretty good. And I mean, we can kill him. Let's just kill him. Why not? So yeah, I mean, you've got um, kind of auto chess tactics. Um, but uh, instead of having like you know, got, uh, a kind of machine gun rounds, 
uh, where you like, you know, make make a couple choices between rounds. They've they've we formatted it into a, a roguelite with um, you know with with deck building mechanics. I think that uh, it's a it's a pretty good you know it's a match made in heaven in a way. Um, the 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 really the, the reason you're gonna want to check this game out is if the, the mechanics are deep enough, if they're interesting or compelling enough. And I'm liking them so far. I'd like to see maybe some more like you know how do we upgrade our units? Um, are there drafting mechanics? Not in the sense of drafting cards, but like are we able to upgrade our units by like getting uh, multiples of the same unit kind of thing? I don't think so. I think they've done away with that. This battle um, spikes won't go down or deplete, so we don't have any spikes. I imagine those are like amount of stacks as damage when attacked. Yeah, so spikes are a very universal mechanic. Um, they're they're in pretty much every uh, deck builder. Apply 75 shield and 30 spikes. So okay, we can get some spikes. Why not get some spikes? You never know. That might come in handy. Uh, you come across an elaborate altar in the center lies a bloodstained idol sculpted in the figure of Lilith, the wing of greed. Worshipping the idol could give you incredible rewards, but beware wishing on a sin always has a price. I want it all gain 150 gold, add three remorse cards. So these are, this is a very stock standard uh, deck building mechanic of uh, filling your deck with useless cards that you can maybe over the course of the game get rid of, but... Um, generally not. I, I actually, my, my mainstay is just no. We can get money in other ways. Uh, so we got a Eye of Mephisto. Whenever a non-ephemeral ally dies, gain one energy on the next turn. Um, I don't know. Our, our, our uh, allies, are they are ephemeral? I don't know if that they are. I don't know if they are eph ephemeral. Um, well, it's better than nothing, I guess. I guess that means that if any of our allies die, we'll gain plus one energy. I think that that's kind of weak. Um, I think that's not, not super great. Um, okay, so we're going to apply 50 might to all, all allies, and then we'll do another 75 on our hero. Seems like a good idea. We'll do a nice chunk of damage. We can possibly kill these spiders, like, right away. So they're gaining mana too. I just noticed. Apply fifty shield to rent. This uh, this one is this this ability is not really done well for us. Yeah, and again, it's maybe maybe not the best. But it's fine. We we have used a bunch of uh, might cards, which is great. This is already almost over. Yeah, because then we can get our power lifting. Um, so we'll go ahead and use another might. I, I, like, there's no reason to do this, but except that I want to. You know, like. Maybe, maybe there's even an, an achievement or something there there wasn't but that's fine so how much okay so he didn't get a full health bar this is the first combat where we are actually starting to take some long-standing damage deal 125 damage to a random enemy draw one card this isn't bad this is actually better than some of our normal attacks apply 10 spikes if the unit already has spikes double this effect we could kind of pivot into spikes this is starting to sound pretty good Let's um, upgrade a non-hero unit. How do we upgrade our hero unit? They're only level one. How does one upgrade them? They don't seem to be gaining experience. And if they are gaining experience, first time each combat an ally kills an enemy, they gain 25. Okay. Draconic. Maybe, oh, you know what? I think it's monster train again, where like basically I only get to upgrade them at specific moments in the game. Okay, so let's upgrade a non-hero unit. I kind of like the idea of upgrading this guy. So I get to choose. They could get um, Cure. That would actually be pretty nice. Or um, increase the effects of Purify. I'd like them to get Heal. I think that would be good. And I am going to do an Elite Battle in order to get to that shop. Um, the Elite Battle seems to just be more enemies, not really like one big enemy. Um, we'll do this. Yeah, okay, so now we know who the big the big boss is right now. So we're gonna go ahead and split up our units a little bit and hope hopefully they will kind of stay in their lane, you know, stay hydrated. Um, and we'll go ahead and throw a mite on here and we'll go ahead and throw a mite on this guy. Do wish the mite stayed for longer than one attack, but that's okay. I was hoping this guy would kill someone oh oh never mind this guy is uh, has 2000 health so actually what we need to do 
Um, do we do we, we don't have our spikes card? What is this? If you end your turn with this card in your hand, all allies will receive five decay. Okay, so we have to use that up. That's uh, another kind of mainstay mechanic is like cards you have to play or you lose. This guy is about to kill that unit, so that's pretty good. Um, I don't really want to use this enchant. I'd like to double because we have a good spikes card somewhere. I guess it's better to use it. All right, well, we'll go ahead and use that. And we'll give them 10 spikes and then we'll uh better that they have spikes but he's gonna kill that guy over there and then we'll come over here um it looks like the spikes do disappear over time there's our spikes card 75 shield and 30 spikes but we also have our some really good cards here i'd like to use them decay deals the amount stacked as damage every second then goes down by one uh Deals the amount stacked as damage every second, then goes down by one. So I imagine that means like five damage, then four damage, then three damage. So that's actually quite a lot of damage. We do have to kind of use that. Um, so I'll use that up and then I'll use my power lifting so I can do some more might. Um, and I'm going to give it all to my hero. Their DPS right now is 91. Our Draugr is not really doing well right now. Apply 175 damage, apply three fracture. Oh, we've got this stupid snake bite again, but we can um, deal some nice damage to the snake boss and also give them fracture that, so they take a bit more damage. Our Draugr is probably gonna die. Yo, this, uh... Did they, did they just heal themselves? Oh, okay, 10 health to all allies, never mind. Okay, it's 10 health to all allies. That That is actually uh, very different. So we're gonna have to, we have to throw some shield on our Draugr here. He is, he is not doing well. You know, keep in mind, we do gain some energy if he dies, but I don't know what happens if he dies. If we don't get him back, it might be that, uh, you know, that, that, that would be bad. I mean, we have a spare Draugr, I suppose. So he is dead. Um, were they an ephemeral unit? Where, where, where's my, uh, where's my plus one energy? Whenever a non-ephemeral ally dies, what does that mean? It disappears at the end of combat. Disappears, loses two health every second. Permanent status. Oh, okay. Ephemeral. I guess it kind of means like token. But uh, all the same, where's my energy? <laughs> I was supposed to get an energy for that. What, what happened there? Set the target's unit shield to zero. Apply three fracture. Do they have any shield? Uh, they have mana. I'm not sure if they have... Oh, no, they don't have shield. I don't see a shield above them. Okay. Uh, still, apply three fracture. It isn't bad. We're going to go ahead and give our, our main ally, our main hero, some spikes. We'll give them some shield. We'll give this guy fracture. And we'll do some damage to him. Why not? There we go. I wonder if uh, if doing a mainstay attack like that also um, like synergizes with uh, with um, fracture. Like I wonder if they combo. Add a card to your deck. Remove all ailments. Triple the current spikes. Apply 15 spikes. Deplete. Deplete means go away for the rest of the combat. Yes. Okay. Oh, and deal 125 damage to all enemies. I mean, that's really good. But I like, I, I think we want to do spikes. I don't know what this heart in the jar does. All healing effects are 50% stronger. That's kind of nice. So let's see, um, let's go to the shop. See what we can buy from the shop. We can buy some relics. Every seven cards drawn applies 100 might to a random ally. That's kind of cool. The first card drawn at the beginning of each turn has its cost reduced by one this turn or until it's played. The first card drawn, that's kind of cool actually. I like that. Receive a random summon card. It costs zero this turn. Summon cards. Oh, so the summon cards would give have the uh, uh, ephemeral st uh, stat. I'd like to be able to increase how many uh, allies we can have. Summon this unit to an empty tile. Deplete. Depleted cards are removed from this combat. We could get a flame wolf, but we don't have the energy to play a flame wolf. Um, wouldn't mind getting some more spikes. I kind of uh, pivoted from might to spikes. Restarts the battle. Uh, interesting. 
Applies fear for five seconds to all enem enemies. Uh, or these are these are like um, these are one-time use items. Okay, so these are actually relics, and then these are one-time use items. And then we can remove a card. Um, wouldn't mind doing that, but I would also I would really like to buy something okay let's buy this blood olander and then also remove a card and i'm thinking i might remove this rook slide the rook slide's probably very good let's throw let's get rid of some of these dagger throws they're they're like i think they're very much meant to be gotten rid of all right and let's do another elite but we're gonna bench our uh damaged draugr Okay, this time I'd like to try and uh, well this guy has got 800 health. That's kind of a problem. He doesn't have any shield Still, he only has three DPS. This guy's 11 DPS. These guys are kind of tough uh, Under goblin assassins will jump across the board targeting the furthest enemy if the target's health is lower than the assassins applies one frag Okay, well, that's a bit of a problem um, Okay, I should be able to do some really interesting stuff here. I'm gonna apply some might and then I can apply 50 might to all allies. Oh, I thought that that was our, oops. That was a mistake. I thought that that was our pull all of might cards out of our discard pile. I thought I was gonna uh, apply a ton of might. So this could go very poorly. Um, oh, nice. So the snake bite is the first card we draw and is reduced to zero because of our relic. That's kind of nice. Uh, deal 175. I'd rather do the power lifting. I think that that would actually be really good. It also pulls our might all. Uh, anime fans out there are, are like sweating and it's that, that meme with a kid from the classroom with the one vein popping out their neck. Alright, so that went well. Um, kinda am a little bit worried about this guy here. I, if, you know what? Let's We're gonna have you focus over there a little bit and um i'm gonna we're gonna apply some spikes to our main dude and also some shields because he's gonna be taking on basically two units over here oh except this boss unit is still um focusing on our draugr here that's not good okay so apply 50 shit let's do that yeah that that worked out well we'll apply some spikes to them as well actually this will double the effect of spikes on our on our hero so let's do that and i really just need to kill this yeah there we go that's what we needed to do is kill that one dude over there so then they can start focusing on the boss it'd be cool if we could kill this guy first but it's not really gonna happen um we'll go ahead and uh get some more put some more might on this dude and we can probably kill the boss this guy over here seems to be dying i don't know how honestly something is killing him um let's put some shield and spikes on this guy use the use that set targets unit eh, we're good all right i mean we're definitely gonna absolutely destroy this boss we didn't actually take that as much damage as they did the first time the, the first time the draugr died so things are going well Apply fear for five seconds to all uh, enemies. All right, let's add a card to your deck. Apply 75 shield if the unit already has shield. Apply an additional. What? That's weird. Why does it phrase it like that? I thought that um, shield was accumulative. I like this uh, spike. So we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna go for a very spike heavy deck. All right, you come across an elaborate altar in the center lies a bloodstained idol sculpted in the figure of Luciferus. Lucifer, not Lucifer, Lucifer Ross, the wrathful. Worshipping the idol could give you incredible rewards, but yeah, okay. So set a random ally's health to one, obtain a random relic. Interesting. Pay the blood price. A random ally loses half their current health, gain 50 gold. I don't like either of these. I would do this if um, it was a little bit earlier. I guess we could get really lucky and it could be one of the draugers. Hey, we got lucky and it was one of the draugers. Okay, cool. Whenever an enemy is killed by a card, gives plus five damage to a random ally. Nice. Wait, by a card? 
Oh, okay. That means I have to, like, do some timing business. Heal 30 max health and remove ailments or card upgrade. Let's do a card upgrade. Um, I don't actually have all that many cards that do damage. We have this one. This will go to 250 damage, apply 5 fractured. Um, I don't really like the idea of upgrading this because most of the reason I upgrade it is for the fractured. Like, I, it's a good card to soften up an enemy and then make it more vulnerable to attacks. So I'm not really a huge fan of that. Um, apply 3 fractured. Apply 15 spikes. We could apply 25 spikes to all allies. I like that. Um, this one would be... Ooh. 115 shield and 50 spikes. What is uh what is our yeah, what does this one do? 20 spikes, double this effect. I think that this is pretty weak sauce, honestly. I was hoping it would turn it into tripled, but that would be uh, maybe like way overpowered. Um this one will turn it to repeat four times, not bad. Um What does this one turn into? Draw all my cards from your discard pile and upgrade them. They cost negative one this turn. What? How does this change? Draw all cards with the word might. Draw all cards with might. Oh, and upgrade them. Okay, yeah, we gotta do that. That's really good. Okay, we've got a new unit. Um, it's a, it's Astaroth. It feels very uh, World of Warcraft here. Um, all right. So we've got, we've got Astaroth. Um, triple the current spikes, apply 15 spikes, deplete. Uh, deals the amount of stacked damage when attacked. So we could, wow, this triples, huh? Triple the current spikes. So we can add 30 spikes to our hero and then triple that. So he's got 115 spikes right now. I'm just gonna group everyone up. We could like fight this one unit over here. Uh, actually what we could do, can we move this guy? Over here? No. Okay, so units are blocked by other units. So what we're going to do is move this guy over here. Oh, apparently that did some damage. Wait, what? Push the unit to a specific direction. How, why did that hurt him? Is it like, is it if you move units to another unit, it does some damage? Interesting. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. They're going to be taking some nice spiked damage. Our Draugr over here is going to be taking some nasty hits there actually he's actually dealing out the damage there i noticed these guys have shield i'm assuming this guy has an ability to give everyone shield gain splash and haste gain plus four damage attacks will okay so i don't know what the impervious units have 50 percent ailment resistance i don't know who is oh here we go applies weak and one fractured to a random enemy Okay, that's not it either. What is this? Applies 50 shield to all allies. There we go. That's the one. Um, so we want to apply 15 spikes to all allies. Um, 100. So we can actually kill. We could kill this guy with this card, and that'll apply plus five. Never mind. Oh right, they had shield. Oof. That's just that's just me being dumb right there. Let's give uh, our Draugr over here um, some shield. Our uh, priest over here has given given uh, our hero some shield, which is good. Uh, now things are going to heat up. We can um, double their spikes. That didn't seem to double it. I'm not sure what the deal is there, but it didn't double it. Apply 50 might to all allies. Now what we want to do is power lift because that's going to upgrade. Look at, oh, look at that might. That is some good might right there, bud. Oh, shh. Yo, <laughs> yo, that's some good might. That is some excellent might. Set the target's unit shield to zero. Apply three fracture. That's gonna be good too. So they're taking some really nice damage to that the, from those spikes there. Um, apply fifty shield to a random ally. Repeat twice. Yeah, let's do that. We got lucky and we got the perfect amount of shield right there. Um, this guy, we could kill him with a card, maybe. Yes. Minion of Hell. Minions of Hell come to me. Okay, so he's doing something, maybe. Um, we ruined the, the perfect number there, but that's, that's fine. So he's doing something. I think he's summoning new new allies. That could be detrimental. Yeah, he did, in fact, summon some new dudes. Um, our We have 118 spikes, so we're, we're kind of maintaining our spikes there. 
Um, wouldn't mind. We only have one power lifting here. I'd like, let's do might all and then also power lift it. It'll be zero. It wasn't zero. Okay, so this doesn't accumulate, unfortunately. That's fine. We still have 125 uh, might to give to our hero here. And that boss is dead. Wow, we actually ended that combat with like full health. Add a card to your deck. This battle spikes won't go down deplete. And that, that means it's gone for the combat. So that means we have to kind of spend two on that. For two seconds, all damage received is converted to shield. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Gain two energy for one turns. Remaining energy will be carried on to the next turn. Uh, I like the spiked spine. That seems like fun. Um, gain one energy every... Wow, that's kind of nice. Upon picking up gain, I party slot. Draw plus one cards every turn. Also reduce. Okay, so yeah, there's a, there def definitely I feel like this game has taken some cues from Monster Train. These uh, these end of battle like kind of boss relics are, uh, you know, very much like a, a consistent upgrade. You know what to expect. Um, I think I don't know. I don't know. Extra unit. That's kind of uh, really tempting, but I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna go for the extra energy now that we have that. Um, we have some really good cards and we can buff our, our main units quite a bit. I'd like to get some better units before maybe um, like thinking about getting an extra slot because we can still swap out one of our draugers. Um, so now we get to upgrade our, our hero. We could give them the next uh, attack deals two damage. I wish we had a little bit more uh, information about like... Uh, how do they what how like how do they use these abilities is it that they need a hundred mana in order to use one of these abilities like when does that happen how do they use them um stalker will jump across the board targeting the furthest enemy every second turn all allies gain one perfect strike perfect strike next attack attack is guaranteed to be a critical hit so they do a lot of damage whenever an ally gains shield they also gain 10 might i kind of like this um, protects, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, what about this? Every time an ally gains might, gain 15 Dragon Tail. At the end of the turn, deals the accumulated value uh, as damage to a random map. <clears throat> this is, this seems really good. And since we are, since we are um, doing kind of a might deck, this, this seems like it could be uh, really good for us. We don't have a lot of gold, so there's not really much point in going to a shop. So let's go ahead and head towards a camp. Oh, we got, we've got a not beholder. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, apparently you can like, you don't have to like use your cards and then go into real time mode. You could, you could wait a little bit. Um, so we could do this, apply 75 shields and 30 spikes. And then, yeah, we, we want to use this. So this, this is actually going to be really good because right here we can use that. And then this will double there's spikes although it says double the effect and again we went from 30 to 50 which uh you know I, I, my math's a little bit fuzzy but i'm pretty sure that's not double so I'm, I'm a little bit um confused as to how that works our draugr is not doing okay over here triple the current spikes apply 15 spikes okay uh, apply 50 shield to a random ally uh we really we needed some of that to end up on our on our uh, Draugr, but that's okay. Let's give him two shield. So he's, he's gain he gained a little bit of health. Our priest is doing their, their job well. Okay, we've got some good cards here. Um, apply 50 might to all allies. Yeah, what we want to do is we want to do this. And then we want to apply 75 might. And then we want to power lift all of our might cards. And unfortunately, it means we can't use might all again. Um, but it doesn't matter because we're still applying like an absurd amount of might. And remember, all of that is uh, accumulating is um, as, as dragon tails. Although I don't know where these dragon tails are. Every time an ally gains might gain 15 dragon tail. Well, where are these dragon tails? Oh, I have 115 dragon, or 105 dragon tail right now. Um, so we're uh, gonna do 120 damage to someone very soon. 
yeah we did 120 damage to this guy so those dragon tails are, are going to add up over time um our dragger is not okay right now so we're gonna give him some shields and also do some damage to this guy we were able to play everything you know that you uh, are doing well if you can play all of your cards i do like it when games give you kind of a, a little tiny benefit for playing all of your cards usually those like you have to earn those benefits and then your deck becomes all about playing all of your cards spiked hand transform all cards in your hand into spiked oh that's kind of cool uh this could be cool but i don't know it, it does kind of um conflict with our might a little bit um for six seconds all attacks will knock the target away and apply stun for one second the next time a unit takes damage from a card the damage will de heal a random ally next two times interesting uh i kind of want to try this spiked it's it, it's gonna be potentially dicey but who knows so we're gonna swap out this dragger again and we're gonna um upgrade one of our cards um what happens if we upgrade this transform all cards in your hand into spiked oh it just becomes cheaper not a bad idea actually this one also becomes cheaper i kind of like that idea because you only have to play those cards once Triple the current spikes apply 15 spikes. Oh, this doesn't get depleted. Oh, 100% uh, I have to go with that. That's a really, really good card. And uh, it getting not like it losing the de de depleted um, trait is, is very good for us. So let's go ahead and use the spiked spine. Um, we could do our spikes here, but I don't think that this is actually, well, it's, it costs zero. So, you know, costs us nothing to use. Apply 50 might to all allies. Definitely want to do that. We want to do that if only because then we can pull it back with power lifting. But I have to remember that um, that's the card in our in our discard pile. So we're going to uh, need to like retain one energy in order to play it. Uh, a triple the current spikes apply 15 spikes. We don't have any spikes right now. Well, we have 10 spikes, I suppose. And it doesn't deplete. So this is only a benefit. Um, 150 damage, apply three fractured. Yeah, I mean, we, we do want to do that. Apply three fractured. I'm a little bit, um, because this, this, uh, Athame card has kind of, like, you know, given me ideas about when to use my attack cards, but this, this is fine. Oh, we, we have summoned a new unit. Bark Corsair. I don't know who summoned that unit, but I have to assume it's Necrolite. Uh, creates a weaker ephemeral copy of the target unit. Okay, so it, it has the ability of copying units. That's a little bit dicey. Hey, we can use a dagger throw to kill this unit and someone will gain plus five uh, somewhere. I, I, I kind of wish that that would pop up a little bit more record, you know, like it would be easier to tell what was going on there. Um, apply 15 spikes to all units. That sounds good. Apply 50 shield to uh, a random ally. No, what we want to do is use power lifting because then we can use might all and um, that will that will be like ridiculously good. And in fact, at this point, um, let's like this guy, th we're just going to absolutely stomp our, our not beholder over here. You can't call them neck beholders because Wizards of the Coast will. What do you mean? Why did you walk over there? Oh, I should have commanded him. I should have told him to. to well, anyway, it doesn't matter because we we stomp them anyway. Doubles the current might. Oh my god, how can I not take this? This battle, each time an ally gains might, damage a random enemy for the same value times one. This is really good. This is really good, but this is also really good. Uh... I'm going to take that because um, that's like a cumulative, whereas the other one is like, you know, it, it, we double our might once, like who cares? Um, so we can use this right away. I think I want to do that. And then we can right away do some damage. Oh man, that's going to be so nice. Ah, yeah, I am, I, I am sold. This game's, this game's really good. I'm, 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 I'm really liking it. I like the, uh, the auto battler mechanics. 
Um, they're they're quite fun. I've never found like I've never really gotten super into auto battler tactics because I'm never sure how to like position units. But this one's pretty it's pretty simplistic, and I like that. I like that it's simplistic. Um, apply 50 sh uh, 75 shield and 30 spikes. So we want to use might all, and we definitely want to use spiked armor. Sometimes I think it is good to have like two kind of synergizing effects in your deck rather than just like putting all of your eggs in one basket. And that way, if you see good cards for like say spiked, like this one, um, it, you you can use it. And like, hey, this is free, right? Because of our relic. Um, so we can go ahead and add that. And then we could, uh, we don't want to turn these into spikes yet. So we're going to use this one. Uh, do we need that? Nah. You know what let's just let's just go for it um and then we're gonna double 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 i don't think that that i have to read that card apply 10 spikes if a unit already has spikes double okay i'm i'm a big dummy it's not double the current stack of stack uh, uh, spikes it's double the effect of the card okay that's fine Apply might equal to the unit's current shield. This would be good, but we're not a very good shield deck. Um, so let's double the current might. There we go. The sleeper. At the beginning of each turn, apply 75 shield to a random ally. That's nice. Um, there's a free relic over there. Kind of want to go grab that. We're going to grab, maybe grab a new unit. Kind of still want to upgrade a unit. Could upgrade this unit again and then they will have nice restorative abilities or remove all ailments and apply 45 shield to all allies i kind of like this let's get some more shield uh i've gotten uh, an achievement for that so that's kind of cool this battle spikes won't go down deplete um apply 10 spikes we don't have any spikes so that's fine uh, kind of a weak starting hand i gotta say uh apply three fractured and we'll just add some shield. Well, we got, look, look, look at all the shield we've got right now. We can apply might to ourselves now. Apply 30, 75 shield and 30 spikes. Let's do that. Let's give him might. And um, apparently this, I don't know, this, does this do damage? No. What we can do is move this guy down here, split the, the group up a little bit. Okay, um, apply 15 spikes to all allies. This battle, each time an ally gains might damage a random enemy for the same amount. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can uh, apply 50 might to all allies. I mean, that's, that's kind of great. And that's gonna do 50, 50, 50 damage. I might start um, seeing if I can't remove cards that are not to do with might and spikes because uh, now we've got a really good synergy going on right now. Inquisitor, 75 might. Oh, that just kills. <laughs> yeah, we've got it. We've got a really good thing going on here. Deal 75 damage, draw two cards. That's not bad, actually. And it, the fact that it costs zero is really good. Bash unit deals damage equal to its shield oh okay uh yeah let's take the blood card getting card draw is always kind of nice let's do this relic um so we got this creates an extra clone every third clone created creates a weaker ephemeral copy of the target unit we don't really create clones uh wouldn't have mind skipping that honestly let's uh go to our camp oh wait we have a we have a mysterious unknown here Sell Draugr for 21 gold. Oh, wait, that's not a lot of money for a Draugr. Um, sure. Let's sell our Draugr. We have a spare. And uh, we can, like, think about replacing the other Draugr. You can barely hear the no from your now former companion over the sound of the coins clinking in your pocket. That's pretty good. I like that little flavor text. Um, we'll upgrade another card. Um could uh, upgrade this uh, apply 50 might to all well there's not really much point in upgrading might cards because we have a card that upgrades our might cards this battle each time an ally gains might okay we could absolutely upgrade this card yeah times two 
Oh, man. I was kind of hoping that it would lose deplete, but that would be kind of overpowered. But I guess it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a, it's an ongoing effect. Um, we can upgrade our unit, but I think I'd rather draft a new unit. Light Kotel. Um, I, I'm sure there's a Kotel. I don't know if there's a, a better way of saying that. Auras have their effect triggered every second. Um, creates a three second long aura that gives 15 shield to adjacent allies. That's kind of nice. Um, applies taunt to themselves for two seconds. They have nine DPS, 11 DPS. We already have a preacher. Uh, we have a, well, we have a, a healing preacher. A mighty preacher might be good. Um, this gives, so this gives armor, this one taunts, so they draw aggro off of other, uh, from other units. Um, I, I like the idea of having another preacher. We'll see if we can't upgrade them later. Um, we do have enough money that the shop is actually justified. What is this? Receive a 30% discount on everything at the shop. I mean, I, I understand the function of this. It's not really good for us right now. At the end of each combat, restore 75 health to all allies. Nice. Whenever you enter a rest site, you may choose to add a card to your deck instead. I do like bulk up. Um, next attack deals three times damage. Uh, that's kind of really tempting, actually. Now, I'm going to take bulk up. Um, I already have a bulk up. Oh, yeah, and we also want to remove a card for sure. So let's get rid of dagger throw. We have another shop here. Not really worth it. We had a, we have an, a free artifact a little bit up. So, okay, we want to use spiked spine. Oh, we got our power lifting cards so early. That's fine. Let's uh, use our spike spine. We'll use our might. Um, we can, there's actually a good reason to use our power lifting card. Because first of all, using more might means that... Well, I guess we have to play the card before that happens. But if we play it, then we're, we're actually upgrading that card. Uh, I'm not going to use this power blood card because it'll actually kind of destroy some cards. I suppose there's a good reason to keep the blood card. Hold on. There is a good reason to keep the blood uh, to use the blood card because if if we um what do you mean can we not can we oh how I only we have to we have to do 75 damage to one of our own units oh that's uh that's not worth it if I had known that I would have uh I wouldn't have taken that card I will be honest okay um this is the worst time to get spiked hand honestly what do we have here 10 decay man deals the amount stacked as damage every second then goes down by one um so that's not great we don't really have do they they don't have any might right now what we could do is uh, we could do might all and then double that might okay uh it's not great right now although we are we are kind of you know we're doing some decent damage Okay, uh, this battle each time an ally gains might. Yeah, this is what we want. We want it. We want that on like turn one. I wonder if uh, there's like a ways to add the uh, modifier for a card to show up on your first turn. One of my like, it's an it's an effect I really enjoy in deck building games. All right. Okay, 175. I, I kind of want to get rid of this armor break not really doing it for us not doing it for me anyway but we got uh we got some good stuff this the deck is working out oh wow just incredible there we go 25 damage up we we uh in are managing to increase our damage because i i did do a cup a little bit of a, a couple of kills what do you mean we got a cat we got a cat yo apply might equal to your current gold Okay, that's an interesting way of doing um, interest mechanics. That's that's really interesting. So like we now have a we would have a good reason not to spend our gold plus 75. Yeah, I mean, I have to take that. Whenever you enter a rest site, you may choose to add a unit to your party instead. That's interesting. Um, definitely, we're going to head towards that relic. 
And we have an extra unit. What? What are you? What what are you? Go gold goblin? Goblin. What what are you? Vanishes. Do we, we do we want to kill you? I feel like we want to kill you for the the gold. They don't seem to be they don't have a green bar, so I assume that they are not a friend. Uh, each time an ally gains might damage a random enemy. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. In fact, we want to do that and then we want to gain some might and also some spikes. Why not? It sucks getting both of our talents in the first one. Oh, cool. Yeah, we definitely wanted to kill that goblin. And in fact, now we're going to be getting more might from that one card. Uh, triple the current spikes, apply 15 spikes. We need more spikes. There we go. Oh, yes. 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 This is this is all very good. There there's somebody the, the unit they summoned died like instantly. I I am really enjoying this game. Apply might equal to your current gold plus 75. Yeah, I mean like babouche. Look at that. That's that's pretty good. Receive a random spell card. It costs 0. I am very bad about not using these. I might I might think of using it when I'm... Okay, so this is the upgraded version of our armor break. Apply to 125 might deplete a random card in your hand. Okay, we can, we can do stuff with this. For one turn, draw one extra card and gain one energy. This doesn't deplete, which is interesting. So it means that every time we play this, we draw one extra card and gain one energy, and I assume that that's upgradable. I gotta go with the, uh, the might, though. We can definitely do something with that. Um, applies 35 decay to all enemies. All enemies, wow. And then we gain- restore more health at, uh, rest- rest spots. But I'd like to upgrade one of our cards here. What does this do, upgraded? Stable. Stable cards do not get discarded at the end of turn. Oh, that's interesting. And it also loses uh, its cost. So that means that uh, if we don't play it, then we could keep playing it. Um, that is interesting. I like the idea of that. I kind of want to upgrade maybe a might card. Doubles the current, current might. Um, how are these different? Oh, this one costs less. Well, that's interesting. So that means if we pull this card with our uh, our bulk up card, whatever it's called, then then it becomes free because it gets upgraded. What is this? Oh, deal 50 damage, draw two cards. I, I kind of want to get rid of that card. What does this one do? 170 might deplete a random card in your hand. Tempting. What about this one? One. I think I might. Okay, it seems it's gonna seem weird, but I'm gonna upgrade this this one because it's something I am, I do want to make use of, but the might cards are kind of taking care of themselves. Like they just kind of get upgraded over time. Um, but the spike cards, I'm, I'm, I'm less inclined to play them because, um, yeah, because, because uh, they're, they're, you know, they take up energy from might. So I guess I will use this. I'll use this on our light preacher. <clears throat> we got overflow. Each time an ally gains might uh, damage a random enemy. Well, this is a good card to get on our first turn. Um, uh, this bulk up was not a great first turn draw, I will say. That's okay. We are kind of putting all of our eggs in one basket with uh, helping our, uh, our hero. Well, why don't we go ahead and use some of these Ran receive a random spell card deal 300 damage to all enemies that seems like a good one to use there we go this is a good time to use something like that um we'll do well we'll I'll apply some might because that's going to do some damage and triple the current spikes apply 15 spikes sure we'll give them some shield oh we can just like use this um all of the enemies are like in bad position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this guy over there and hope that, yeah, they have to take a little bit of time to move. Oh God, they're they're all summoning units. This is, this is not great. Uh, okay. So we have, uh, we've got our power lifting. This is not 
rate. Apply might equal to your current gold. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll play that. And then we'll use our power lifting. And apply might to current to your, to your current gold. We're absolutely going to destroy here. Um, I actually think we're... No, okay, they have 700 health. So it is worth it to us to do a bunch of damage here. And then double the might. Ba-bam! Oh my god. And then we're just gonna... Oh yeah, 100, 1300. We got... I, I got a, a nice achievo for that. They're about to summon a new unit, which we don't necessarily want. Apply 125 might. Deplete a random card in your hand. Okay, so we don't want to play that first. We want to do a couple of other things first. And actually, we have the perfect amount of energy here. What we're going to do is play everything else except armor break. So that'll deplete armor break. There we go. Wow, they summoned a lot of extra units, huh? This, uh, this could get dicey. You know what? Let's go ahead and use another one of these. Draw three cards. Apply fear for five seconds. The unit will run away from its enemies. Uh, that's not great. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this rune of spellcraft. Deal 75 damage. If the target is an ally, they might they also gain 125 might. So we could deal 75 damage to our own unit. Dicey. Um, triple the current spikes. Apply 15 spikes. Uh, some really good stuff here. We don't have any might applied to us right now, unfortunately. Well, okay, so we could do... We do 75 damage to our own unit. And then we double that might. Um... They don't have any spikes. Uh, we don't have enough energy to play this now. Oh, well, we'll just triple their spikes. And then we'll apply some fracture to uh, the boss. Okay, we're doing some nice damage though. We are taking quite a lot of damage, unfortunately. Um, power. We have our power lifting. Apply 50 might. We want to. Hmm. Okay, I want to apply 50 might to all allies. I just want to upgrade the card. So we're going to use this. Then we're going to double that might, and then we're going to power lift. Oh, we could also... Wow. We, could, we can keep using this. Uh, it does do quite a bit of damage, though. So I guess we could apply it to one of our allies who are not damaged. That still does damage, right? Remember, because it's we're, we're doubling. We're, we're doing might damage. Um, and then we're going to... Oh, I can't use might all. That sucks. I could just like double this twice and that'll do a ton of extra damage. Yeah, that did like a, a ridiculous amount of damage because every time we do that, we're, we're doing that amount of damage to an enemy. I think we're going to be okay. We'll we'll draw a couple of extra cards here. Sure, we gain some spikes and let's give our, so our, our unit some, some cards. So, sorry, some armor. We're almost done here. There we go. Slayer of Sloth. Are we going through all of the sins? I, I kind of hope there's only like three bosses in this. Um, apply Spikate. Spikate. Gain the stacked spikes as shield when spikes is triggered. Gain the stacked spikes as shield when spikes is triggered. This is an, uh, it's an enchant. Oh, this is for 17 seconds and then apply spikes. Kind of expensive for my blood. If more than one unit is targeted, do you draw one card and gain one energy. Uh, I don't know how that make that work. This battle, when a non-ephemeral unit dies, gain one energy and draw one card. Deplete. I don't really like any of these. And you only get 10 gold. I think that's... I don't know. The 10 gold is actually more valuable. Because it, we can... We, we apply that as a... Um... We apply that as might. So now I think we would like to gain an extra party slot. Uh, turn, reduce the turn cooldown by five. Oh, this is interesting. So we get um, more turns per per combat. This is really interesting. Um, I'm going to gain an extra party slot, though. I think that that's a good idea. Third circle, the pits. 
Okay, um, I kind of want to avoid stores. Unfortunately, the only rest spot is a store. Or right, it leads us to a store. So I don't know. Well, let's do... Oh, first of all, we're going to upgrade our hero. Um, I kind of like doubling down on demonic. Or I, I thought it was dragonic. Gains 25 might for each adjacent unit. So we're not really doubling down on the good stuff. Deals 200 damage to adjacent uh, enemies. I'm assuming having more skills, like these skills are, no we don't get to really pick when they use them. So um, having more skills means that we get less of what we want. So I guess I'd rather have Demonic too, because then we might have a better chance of getting Seraphic. Seraphic is actually what we want for each adjacent unit. Uh, yeah, I mean, these two together is, isn't bad. Dynamic duo. I just got another Achievo. Another Chivo. Um, okay, so we can have our Draugr back. Uh, but I really, I guess I, I guess we don't need to rest. We could do three combats and then an elite. I think that's a little bit dicey. Let's just do this. Yeah, we're fighting like new enemies here and it could get pretty pretty dicey let's move things around a little bit this this is fine and then we're gonna add some might and double that might playing those cards are gonna be good because then we can pull them with power lifting oh yeah also oh, i guess i can't use rook slide but that's fine um might oh we have 70 might five might still this is good apply 50 this isn't as good as it used to be. It used to be good, but it's not really as good anymore. I guess it's better than applying one 75 shield. But then something like this happens where like this unit is now like our tankiest unit and they you know, like wh whatever. Um, okay. Our Draugr died. Um, that's that's going to happen. Our Draugr is not really relevant anymore. Um, okay. Draw all cards with might from your discard pile. Okay, this is what we want to do. We want to add some might and then power lifting. Yeah, they're just like, oh. If we had the, our talent that get, makes us do damage, we would have done like 2000 damage. So yeah. Uh, we had another unit die. Am, am I gonna die here? Uh, it's not really looking good right now. Okay, um... I, yeah, I, I'm not feeling super good about this. Hopefully our, oh no, our hero is about to die. Our hero died. I can't believe it. Okay, well, we could still win here. Oh, we played these out of order. Damn it. Um. Okay, we'll, we'll play this and then we can apply 125 might. We could, we could still win here, but I'm a little bit worried about what happens next. Apply that. Um, draw all my cards. Yeah, we want to do this. We didn't have any. Oh, right, because we just reshuffled. So neither of those did anything. Wow, that is brutal. I should have done the spiked armor. At the very least, we would have done some damage. Okay, apply might equal to your current gold. There we go. There we go. Okay, that that was really bad. And now we're all like super weak. Rune of Affliction. Add a card to your deck. Deal 100 damage for 6 seconds. All attacks will knock the target away and apply stun. Remove all enchants. Stable. Uh, beneficial status for units. Shield, might, haste. I guess this is um, all enemies. Okay. I mean, this could be good, yeah. But I'd, I'd have to be the one to... Like, I'd have to use it properly. And I don't think I... I'm going to be able to do that. So we'll take Bash, and I guess I'm heading towards this rest camp here. Definitely we want to draft. 
Um, mouse keeper. Ally. Oh, right. There's these alliances too. I wonder if I should have been, I like this preacher actually doesn't have all healing effects are 20% stronger. Yeah. So there's like an extra a mechanic here that I have not been uh, paying attention to. Um, kind of want to reroll these on the chance that we can maybe get a different, different one. Um, still, we didn't get really the one we want. Like, I was hoping for any of these alliances, but it didn't end up happening. So I'm going to take this warg. Uh, I don't want to spend too much of our gold. Or, uh, oh no, I, I actually, I want to, I want to heal our max health. Like, we really need the health. Um, I'm not going to spend any money. So we're going to go towards there i could try and draft again but yeah things things are kind of dicey right now let's do yeah let's do this they don't have any shield we'll do some damage to our own healer for some extra cards yeah i mean these are a hundred percent not what we wanted at all Yeah. Um, just, just like actually the worst stuff happened there, honestly. Okay, well this, that didn't go too badly. Um, double the current might. We need some might for that to happen. Okay, so here we go. Might all, and then we can double that. I, I'm still not using armor break i don't i i'm just like i just want to double down on on uh, might honestly okay okay things are going a little bit better we need some of our talents we need our talents much sooner um apply 125 might depleted cur yeah well, we don't want to do that not not yet anyway apply some uh, armor to that one and then we'll go ahead and do this. And yeah, I, I got rid of our, our, our cool spiked card, but that's fine. Okay, this went a lot better. I feel like having a, a new unit was a was a better move than... than uh, I think our Draugr was, was holding us back maybe a bit. Uh, we could get another spiked card. Bloodletting. The next two times the unit takes damage from a card, the damage will heal a random ally. Um, could be good. I'd rather get maybe this. I don't really, I'm not really like doubling down on um, like attacking cards. So I kind of want to draft so we can maybe get something better. Um, this, the DPS on the Warg is actually very good. And they also have, uh, they apply shields. So we could just like upgrade them. Apply as 25 might to all allies. There we go. Yeah, actually that would be really good. So you don't actually have to go in on like allies, um, not sorry, like allyship, you know, these, these things, alliances, I should say, um, you come across an ally, uh, worshiping the idol could give you incredible rewards, receive idol of lust, gain a party slot. Allies can no longer heal. No, thank you. That, that sounds like an absolute nightmare. Okay. Let's try something like this. Um, apply spikes to everyone and then we're gonna improve those spikes a little bit um, I'm gonna use the double the might current might just so that it get ends up getting upgraded later and I guess they did have a little bit of might so that's that's not bad nice we did, we're doing some really nice damage. Okay, um, this bash might actually end up being good. We want to apply some might. Apply some more might. Um, let's do some bash. We could also... Let's draw some cards. Apply 125 might. Yeah, this is actually going to work out. Let's, um, let's triple our spikes over there and then apply some might and get rid of that other card. Because it doesn't seem to be working too well for us. So oh, that bash actually worked out really well. All right, so now we have our power lifting. Apply might equal to your current gold. Okay, that's gonna be really nice. 
Let's add it to them and then power lift. Here we go. Here we go. Um, we can we can use her. Oh, I should have used this might first. That was that was silly. Apply might to equal to your gold, and then we'll uh, double the current might, and then power lift. Or sorry, uh, um, do this. And that's pretty good. I mean, we should be able to instantly kill everything. All right, we've we've turned things around a little bit. I was a little bit worried that we were um, heading down towards, uh, you know, death. Stable cards do not get discarded at the end of turn. Apply to protect. Prevents the unit from receiving damage. Interesting. Apply 25 spikes to all allies. This is uh, upgraded. Apply 150 shield. Apply taunt to all enemies for... This is actually really good because our, um, our hero gains a benefit for being close to more enemies. Not just they do 200 damage to adjacent enemies, but they also gain 25 might for each adjacent unit. So like, if we can group everyone up, that would be like the actual best. So like if we could do something like this, honestly, I think that even this would be better. Spikes won't be depleted. This is good. Apply 15 spikes to everyone. Um, 30 spikes and then we could yeah let's let's uh, start bulking up our might okay all right each time okay th we've been we need to get this more often um we only get the one might card apparently um for power lifting, so I actually think it would be better to do War Cry. And we can also give them spikes so they every everything is gonna take damage for attacking him. Of course I guess it also means ranged units, so that's not necessarily ideal. Um so apply might and then double that might. But yeah, things things are, are looking well. We're actually going to have um, a full health now. Next attack deals three times damage. Trifold is, sounds pretty good. Apply might equal to your current gold. I like this card a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take it. So yeah, I just kind of want to... I kind of want to do something like this so the the our d hound our warg has to run around and that way we group up as much as possible around our hero um and then i'm going to do that this is a maybe the the bash is not a great idea just because th he's going to bash people away a bit um but we'll see we'll see how this works out okay so he can move diagonally through units i didn't realize that that's that's kind of interesting what happened there i actually i really like what what's going on right now um let's do some might and then we'll oh this is our power lifting card is it worth doing now yeah i guess so yeah because then we can add war cry to our hero and then um just give him an absurd amount of might good All right, um, do we have any might left? Yeah, we have 75 might. Uh, we can give him even more might. Who's the one who has the might? Is it the warg or our hero? I think it's the warg. So let's go ahead and give them the might and then double up their might. Oh no, it was, it was in fact my hero, my bad. Oh well, that's fine. We still get to do a bunch of damage. I still might try and draft um, some cards to see if we can't get something, um, you know, more interesting. But uh, so far, I like what's going on here. Apply 10 shield throw. Oh, shield throw. When the unit gains shield, deals the amount gained as damage to a random enemy, then goes down by one. Uh, interesting. I'm sure there's a way to combo that. Deal 125 damage to a random enemy. Put this card back in your hand. Deal 75 damage and apply three fracture. Um, I kind of want to skip and get some more gold. 
Okay. Draft or upgrade? Let's uh draft. Oh, okay, here we go. Draconic Alliance. Every time an ally gains might, this is what we want. Applies to endure for three seconds to all ally. Endure each point diminishes the ta damage taken by 10%. Yeah, we definitely want red Minos. And I think I'm going to swap out. Yeah, let's swap out a mighty preacher for red Minos. Um, I think that that's actually going to work out really well. And we could let's do another mystery. We all need a companion such as you die monster. I'll trust you for now. Invite the demon hunter to your party. Receive five remorse. Um, her piercing yellow eyes shoot a brief hungry glance at your companion to your companions before turning back to you. Uh, let's let's destroy them. You have chosen death. She unleashes her sword. Okay, well, it's, it just turns into a regular combat. Except, damn, these units are a little bit beefy. So let's do Might All and uh, Bash. Oh, I had my overflow. I actually had my overflow for once. Damn it. Um, let's go ahead and move this guy south. That was so silly of me. And I really needed... I need to play well on this one because it looks like these enemies are going to be tough. Um, okay, gain one energy. There's our power lifting. Apply might. Okay, so let's apply might equal to our gold. And... Yeah, let's gain this energy. This seems like a good one. A good time to use that. I think we're going to die. I think this was the, the actual worst. I think I played this... 100% incorrectly. Uh, yeah, we're 100% we're dead. There's nothing I can do here. I, I really should not have uh, dabbled with that. We should have just left. Oh my god. Well, that's what happens when you play uh, You Risk, You Lose. Or you, 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 like, you risk it all. Still, I had a really good time, and I don't feel, like, salty about that loss. I, I actually want to play another game, like, right away, so I think that says something. We unlocked a new hero. Um, we got some cards. We got some new, uh, here, some new ally units, I think. Run summary. So, that was really good. I, I really like this. Hadian Tactics. Do you like to help the development by sharing your gameplay data? Sure. Um, I think this is really cool. I'd like to, to play more of this. Probably in my off time, I'll be honest. Um, I don't think this would make necessarily an interesting series, but either way, I hope that you found this Let's Try interesting. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And also consider uh, taking a look at the Game Development World Championship site, link in the description, as well as the, a link in the description for Hating Tactics. And uh, thanks again to uh, both um, the Game Development World Championship and Emberfish Games for providing me with the key. I really like this game and I'm very uh, grateful to be able to play it. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.